Okay, we are going to perform a quick overview of the SQL 2012 always on uh, failover procedure. Uh, always on at its basis is based upon Windows failover clustering combined with uh, database mirroring from previous releases of SQL. Uh, it is only, since it is failover clustering uh, required, it does require uh, Windows Enterprise version or higher. So standard will not work in this situation. Also, uh, currently, SQL Enterprise uh, for 2012 is required for this feature. Failover clustering on this uh, setup in the lab has been split across two nodes. And the quorum configuration is currently set to two node plus file share. You can do it in a number of different ways. So unlike mirroring, you do not need three SQL nodes at a minimum uh, to allow for failover. You can do two nodes uh, plus file share. So we'll connect into an uh, instance where we have already have it set up. So this is my uh, virtualized name, SQL AO, and these are the two nodes supporting it. So as you can see, you can connect to the virtualized and you can connect to each node directly. Uh, each node is independent. It's not like uh, traditional SQL clustering. So uh, one thing in particular that is configured separately would be anything to do with the system databases. Uh, so security and um, uh, management jobs from MSDB uh, would all be handled on a per instance level. Uh, that being said, uh, backup is configured to allow you to configure where you want your backup to run. And it will intelligently only run in one spot. Uh, so we see the always on high availability tab here. If we expand availability groups, you'll see the lab infra group. On the right here, we have the dashboard open already. If you click right click on it and say show dashboard, it brings up the screen. And it gives you a quick overview of what the status of your always on availability group is. As you can see, I have quite a few databases hooked in together. These all fail over together. So unlike mirroring, where if you had a, an application that required communicating between different databases uh, and you had to then account for if a mirror had failed over or not for one specific database. In this case, all your databases would fail over together. So you could put logical databases that you want to keep together together in an availability group. You can have up to 10, availabil 10 availability groups um, uh, and one up to 100 databases in total across those 10. So for the failover wizard, uh, to go from one instance to another, you can simply do it from here. Select the new replica, shows you the current. It asks you to go ahead and connect to the replica. Shows you summary, and like with all things SQL, you can say send this to a new query editor window if you want to see the script. and see the actual commands that were used. And as you can see, very simple command to initiate the failover. And there we go. We see a little bit of a warning about the quorum configuration simply because a two node plus file share is not uh, super ideal. Three node is far better, but it works just fine. And there we go. So we look at our dashboard. It now shows a critical event uh, that took place uh, as far as the availability state. Uh, and it shows you now that we have SQL 2 now operating as the primary instance, and it's all green. And these guys are all, it says not synchronizing, that's actually a uh, bad message there. It should say synchronizing, um, because that's what it's doing currently. If we click on warnings there, it says the instance is not healthy. That's because it's currently catching up. So it immediately will catch up the other the original instance, if it comes back online, it will not automatically fail back over to it. And there we go. All green, so we're ready to do a, a 
fail over again. And that's pretty much it as far as how to fail over an instance. Um, obviously, if uh, one of these instances were simply to go away and it was primary, uh, like for instance, if I were to just power off SQL 2 here, uh, that failover process obviously would happen automatically. Um, and as far as uh, gathering information about the health of your databases, uh, there are system views under master. They are the HADR DM views. Here we go. And these guys can give you a little bit of information about the status of your uh, cluster nodes, your cluster state, uh, all kind of information about the status of your always on group. So if you want to tie into secondary systems, you can query these views directly to pull info uh, about the current state of your, your system. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.